In this video, we will download a character from Mixamo and animate in Unity. We will make this character run, and after this video, you will be able to apply an animation to your character with the same flow. Mixamo is a free Adobe's platform for 3D characters and animations. If you go to Mixamo.com and click Characters here, you can see a bunch of characters that you can use in your projects. In page 2, I want to use the character Michelle. What you see on the right is the T-pose of the character, and that will be our base model. So we can download it here, and all you need to do is to create an account and log in. So now I am logged in to Mixamo, and I hit Download. We will choose FBX for Unity for the Format field, and T-Pose for the Pose field, and hit Download again. I want to download this into my desktop. You can save wherever you want, just remember where it is. Next, we need to animate this character. To do that, click on this Animations tab here, and you will see many animations that you can apply to this character. Let's try some of them. You can make it dance, or you can make it jump, and so on. What I want to do is to find a running animation for this project, so I will type run in the search bar, and here we got different type of running animations. This one looks basic, we can use it. And right now, notice that the character is actually moving. So its position is changed through the animation. This is not a good thing, because we want to move the character programmatically, which will allow us to adjust properties like velocity. Ok, what we can do is to check this in-place checkbox here, and the character is not moving anymore. After that, it is ready to download again. So yes, we download the character and also the animation. You can understand that we are downloading the animation, because this time there is also FPS option. Format will be again FPX for Unity. We can select without skin here. 30 is good for the FPS, and we don't want any keyframe reduction. Alright, with these settings, hit download. And save it into the same directory. Now I am in an empty Unity project, and it is time to import our assets. Let me bring my desktop folder, and you can see the assets here both in FPX format. Their names are almost same, but the animation has also animation type after the add sign, which is fast run in this case. Simply move both of them into our assets folder, and we got them in Unity. You can see the model in the inspector panel, and before importing them into the game, first I want to create a ground plane, so that the character will not fall down. Click plus button here, 3D object, and plane. I also want to change its color, so I'm gonna create a materials folder in assets. And create a new material, which I will make the color of grey. Assign this material to the ground, and it is ready to go. Okay, let's import our character into the hierarchy, and doing so, we'll put her into the origin of the space. We can of course drag it up and position, but instead, I'm gonna delete it and import again, but this time, I will drop it on top of the ground, so its Y position is adjusted. Okay, now we have our character in the scene, and the first thing I want to do, is to adjust rigging settings. So, select the character, and click on the Rig tab in the Inspector panel. Unity recommends to use Humanoid avatars for Humanoid characters, which has a specialized workflow and an extended toolset for Humanoid animations. Let's select that, and I want to talk about avatars. Avatar in Unity is a way to map and configure bones of a character. It is necessary for a character to be animated, and we don't have an avatar yet. We are going to create the avatar from this model, so select that option. All other settings are fine, click apply. If you extend the model here, you can see now we have an avatar right here. We will use it in a minute. Another issue is that the character is colorless right now. 
and that's because we didn't extract materials and textures yet. We can do that from the materials tab. It's really easy to do, just hit extract textures. I will extract them into the materials folder. So select that folder and Unity asks for some fixes. Just say fix now and let's continue. Do the same step for the materials. And here we go. Only thing left is to animate the character, which is the main point, right? Let's do that. We will use this animation asset for that, obviously. Select that and come to the animation tab. Click play and nothing happens. Okay, that's because the animation doesn't assign to any avatar yet. So Unity doesn't know how to apply the animation. Select the rig tab here and animation type should be again humanoid for better results. And this time we don't need to create a new avatar. We can use the one before. So say copy from other avatar. That will open a new field for the avatar. And I'm just gonna find the avatar and move it inside of this field. Hit apply and let's try it again. Hooray! The animation now works. Let's stop this and hit play the game. Apparently this is not working yet. By the way, I want to dock my game tab right here so we can see both windows. And the camera is a bit far from the character. Let me bring it closer. Okay, I have centered the camera and the reason the character is not moving is that she doesn't have an animator controller. If you select it from the hierarchy under the animator component, you can see that the controller field is empty. Let's create one. Here, right click, create animator controller. I'm gonna name it Michelle Animator. Double click on it, and this is how an animator controller looks like. Animator controller is exactly how it sounds like. It's a space to keep and order the animation. Well, basically to control it. So we can move our animation inside of this controller. And that arrow represents it's going to run after the entry. Since this is the first and only animation here, it's automatically set to entry animation. Now we are all set, select the character and assign this animator controller to the controller field. Hit play. And something weird happened. Try again. Okay, it kinda animates, but stops instantly. Well, this is because our animation runs only once. It was laggy, but it's off topic. So basically what we need is to create an infinite loop for this animation. And we can do that by selecting the animation under the animation tab, enable the loop time here. Now hit play again. And yeah. Finally, she is running.